Good morning. Today is the first day of school for schools in Hamilton County, Tennessee, in that district, and it is a day when I know many others have already gone back or many are preparing to go back. I remember as a child, the first day of school being a day of simultaneous great dread and regret that the summer was over, but also a day looking forward to seeing my friends that I hadn't seen since the summer and kind of seeing what the new school year would start, uh, what would be like. Uh, this year, of course, more than ever, it is a day of both dread and anticipation, not only for students, but parents and teachers and administrators and staff parents and a number of, of you I have spoken with I know are just agonizing or have agonized over what to do. If I let my kid go back to in-person uh, learning, they will be exposed perhaps more to a virus that could be deadly for them or for others. If I leave them at home and do a virtual, uh, then they will suffer from not having the social opportunities that they get at school that are so important. And if we do the hybrid kind of options that there are, it becomes a scheduling nightmare for everybody, for work and for, for school schedules and the whole nine yards. There are no good options this year. And so I want us to take a little bit of cheer first by knowing that each one of us, whether you are a parent or a teacher or an administrator or someone like me who doesn't have children in the school system but cares, each of us have the opportunity to do something uh, to help our school systems. And uh, to illustrate that, I want to show you a story about a man named Zane Powells from the United Kingdom who is a teacher and the wonderful job that uh, he has been doing caring for his students during the pandemic. Uh, Our school is in like a deprived area, as the government would say, socially economically deprived. Uh, four out of ten receive uh, free school meals. So what we thought straight away was, how are these children going to get their free school meals? I thought, right, what I would do to resolve some of that problem, I, I'd go out and deliver every single meal to them every single day. That'll give me the opportunity to see the children, make sure things are okay, and they've actually got a decent meal because some of our children probably won't get a, a decent meal. So, you can see, there's a uh, bone, uh, there's a cookie, and a piece of fruit in each bag. I think they're 105 lunches, uh, and once they're all done, they will roll them in the bag. Uh, our motto is the school that cares. And that's something we definitely do while we care so much about our children and make sure their welfare, welfare is our priority all of the time. I think we want to think and, and really believe that all of our schools are schools who care, who care about our students. And we know that teachers aren't only teachers. They have to be psychiatrists and psychologists and relationship experts. They have to be doctors. They have to be police officers, social workers. Uh, there's so many roles that our teachers have. Uh, James 3.1 says, Don't be in any rush to become a teacher, my friends. Teachers is highly responsible work. Teachers are held to the strictest standards, and that is true. And so for this day, I want us to pray together uh, for teachers, for administrators, for staff, for students, and for parents. Uh, will you pray with me that all of them will take uh, a lesson from James Powell's and do even more than they are called on to do for the good of their fellow students or their uh, students or their children or their schools. Let us pray together. God, these are difficult times and they are particularly difficult for parents and for schools we pray first for the First Cumberland Learning Center that you would be with each one of the students in our Learning Center, be with each one of the families that they represent, be with each one of our teachers and our administrators. We pray for the schools throughout our uh, region and throughout our country and even throughout our world, that you will be with each administrator, that you will be with each staff member, that you will be with each teacher, and that you will be with each student. And that during these very, very difficult times, during these times where they are being tested in ways they've never been tested before, that they would come out of those tests uh, passing with flying colors, uh, much the way that Zane Powell's did in the story that we just heard. 
not only teachers, but teachers and students, parents, administrators, staff, and those of us who don't have a direct connection, but have people that we love who are involved in all of those uh, levels and all of those people. And we pray all of these things in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Parents, teachers, administrators, staff, students, hear this wonderful promise. God is with us. Amen. Happy first day of school.